What is up, y'all? This is Andy with Poster Grind, your neighborhood art director that designs movie posters for a living. Today, I'm going to share with you the quick and easy way to use the displacement map in Photoshop to distort your logos and or typography and work with the background. This is a very easy technique. I use it all the time to mash up my logos and type and I really wanna share it with you. So without further ado, let's dive on in. <laughs> what? Once you have Photoshop fired up, you're gonna to wanna to find yourself some texture to play around with. I found this crinkled black paper on Envato.com, which is a stock photography website that has unlimited downloads for their licensed material and photography. It's a really cool website because it's only about 16 bucks a month and or about 200 bucks for the entire year and that's unlimited downloads of all of their assets. Definitely check them out by using the affiliate link below so we get a little something something for sending them business. This exact texture will be named in the notes below. As soon as you have your texture ready to go, you're gonna want to play around with the contrast. The more contrasty it is, the better the displacement map is gonna work. To do that, all I do is hit Command M and that brings up my curves. And then on the curves, I'm gonna go from default to increase contrast. Now, if it's a little strong, you can play with the S curve to reduce it a little bit or increase it depending on what texture you're using. So something like that. Now that your contrast is looking good, all we have to do is save this layer or save this file on your desktop as a PSD. So go to File, Save As, I already have it named Displace01, hit Save. Now you're gonna see how that's gonna work shortly. But before we do, let's go ahead and bring in a logo or some type by hitting T on your keyboard type out what you want, Command-T to transform and increase the size. And now let's go ahead and turn that into a smart object by double clicking on the text layer, convert to smart object, and now the fun part begins. Go up to filter, distort, displace, and on displace you can mess around with the horizontal and vertical scale. I'm gonna go with 25, and 25, make sure stretch to fit is checked, repeat edge pixels, and embed file data in smart object is checked. Hit okay. Brings you to your desktop. Now go to displace 01, what we just created, hit open, and that's going to do the effect. Now if you guys have learned anything up until this point, or you like this video, please just hit that like button now, I really appreciate it. If you want to increase or de decrease the effect, all you have to do is double click on displace in your smart object and you can play around with it. So let's go ahead and move it up to 35 to see what happens. Hit okay, same thing, displace, open, and that has increased the effect a tad. From here, I wanna soften up the edges, so I'm gonna go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm just going to do a subtle change to about 0.5 pixels, and then hit okay. Now what we really wanna do is to have this blend in with that texture, I'm gonna double click our text smart object layer and bring up layer styles. And then from here, I'm going to underline layer, holding my finger down on the option button, and I'm just gonna drag this over like so. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the white arrow. Now this is subjective and you can do whatever you want at this point until you see something you like. Very cool. So once you have it, hit OK. The last thing I want to do is change the color, and I like to use solid color to do so. So I'm just going to go with a red for now, and then I'm going to use a clipping mask by hitting Option Command G, and that's going to clip that color to our logo. And then you can double click on the color picker and mess around with colors until you see something you like. And like that, we have this awesome effect that you can apply to just about anything. 